Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. And our time for reflection leader today is Reverend Tom Casitu, Minister, Church of Scotland. Thank you, Presiding Officer, my sponsor, Gordon MacDonald, staff, members of the Scottish Parliament for this special opportunity to share in your time of reflection. Last week, a friend and fellow Ugandan warned me, and I quote, Tom, take time to choose your words in your reflection. Remember another Ugandan visited Scotland, loved Scotland so much that several years later, after his visit, he crowned himself the last king of Scotland. <laughs> but I come to you as Alisa, a minister at St. Nicholas Church, Sight Hill, a community missionary and a reverse missionary. Now, this is a word, reverse missionary. I refer to myself as a reverse missionary because 144 years ago, a graduate in engineering at Edinburgh University called Alexander Madoc Mackay went out to Uganda to serve as a pioneer missionary. He turned down the invitation to serve in places where, as his friends believed, his skills and knowledge could be put to better use. He ended up in Uganda and he made a positive difference. His spiritual depth and practical skills in farming, in carpentry and engineering were valued and admired for generations in the places where he lived and worked. It is that community missionary spirit and work that excites me and all the members and friends of St. Nicholas Church, Sight Hill. We believe that church at its best must be local and must also exist for the benefit of the non-member. Church and other institutions that exist for good of all must endeavor to meet people at all their points of need in synergistic partnership with like-minded champions for good in the community. Also, as a local church, we, like Alexander Mackay, seek to model Christ in, and his love in action in everything that we say, everything that we do. We are learning not to provide answers to questions that have not been asked. We use items everyone likes, like food, to build community and lasting friendships. We share food after our time of worship and during the week at events like the community meal and another event called Let's Eat Together Food Share. We get beautiful food handed to us from m and and pass it on. We are reminded of that day when Jesus, surrounded by a crowd of 5,000 hungry men, did not use this moment to launch his manifesto or to build a great big church. No, he fed them using a kid's packed lunch. Now, when you invite me again, we'll talk more about that. But he challenges us all to take good care of everyone around us, to place other people's interests before our own, and again, to meet people at all their points of need. And so I ask God's choicest blessings on you as you continue to love to care and to serve God's people well in all the places where you live and work. Thank you, and may God bless you. Asante sana. Thank you.
Thank you, Reverend.